Locked and loaded now. There's the light. 1,300 metres. Ready to go. And they're off-hand racing now, and Romeo's Choice jump well with plundering Baroque Road, a more victorious. There's four of them having a crack for the lead. The heavily back Charlton Road will sit back on the inside of Powerful Peg, and outside has been snagged back to last. Baroque Road zipped across now, takes the lead at the 1,000 metres from Romeo's Choice, then plundering, and a more victorious fourth, the rails in advance of Powerful Peg, Charlton Lane. Outside has last about six lengths off the lead, so it's Baroque Road at the 800 metres, a half in front to Romeo's Choice two lengths away to Plundering a length and a half into a more victorious from Powerful Peg now this plunge horse Chorlton Lane is second last on the fence and outside are three quarters of a length away from it so Baroque Road travelling pretty strongly coming to the turn from Romeo's Choice and Plundering in the slipstream of the two leaders a couple off to a more victorious reined up from Powerful Peg now Chorlton Lane in a bit of traffic there as outsider kept it in a bit of a pocket uh, the leader didn't fire much Baroque Road and Romeo's Choice takes the lead and quickly Plundering moves up on the outside and Plundering takes the lead now. Chorlton Lane's on the scene. It's Plundering a length in front of Chorlton Lane closing in quickly. Chorlton Lane going after Plundering. Plundering Chorlton Lane. Chorlton Lane. Well, oh, that brought the bookies to their knees there. Chorlton Lane tipped out Plundering and the more victorious got up for third. Then Romeo's Choice from Powerful Peg Outsider and that leader Baroque Road travelled strongly and weakened to finish last. Oh, Chorlton Lane uh, into 3.30 at the end. $2 the place, running down, plundering, $1.80. And a more victorious warming up at the end, going home into third. And Romeo's Choice will hang on for the fourth end of the prize. Oh, 